Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Um, just wanted to make this video quick here. Um, just wanted to show you the new shop we're working with here at Adaptive. And uh, just do a couple things here to tell you about the organization. And um, I'm going to be making some videos coming out. Um, some CNC, some shop organization. Um, I'm going to be buying a new product, so I'll be doing a review on the product. Um, a lot of stuff going on. I switched from having a uh, 12 by 20 little uh, concrete outhouse basically it had a concrete floor and everything it worked great but um, it was in an apartment it was downstairs it was way away from the house so everything I did I had to run back and forth it was kind of a pain and um, the landlord actually sold the house so we had to go out and market and buy one you know we don't we have so much stuff I didn't want to move it back into another apartment and so on and so forth we just broke down and bought a house. Um, it has an attached garage that I'm using for a shop, and the attached garage is 14 by 26. And I'll turn around so you can see here. 14 by 26, so that's a lot bigger. I can put a lot more stuff, do a lot bigger projects. Um, I put new doors in, new man doors, because this had some ugly doors in it. Let's see if I can get a quick picture. And this door leading into the laundry room. Yeah, pretty rough, right? <laughs> um, so now what we're working on, I live in New York and uh, this is what my shop. Let me see if I can switch this around, I'll show you. This is what my shop, temperatures are looking like right now being in New York. Right now. now that's going to do nothing but go down from there. And I have high humidity, low temperature, it's not good for my wood. So I got to insulate the whole ceiling, which they just put a new roof on the outside, so that's a good thing. But I got to insulate it, I'm probably going to spray foam it all the way down, and then the walls probably end up spray foaming as well. I kind of like the light though because it lets heat in and it lights the shop up a little bit more. But my lights at night, these guys I bought them on Amazon, holy crap. Four of them and this thing is just as bright now as it is when it's dark out. I mean they're phenomenal. Um, but yeah that's basically what we're working with here. I built a tower for my CNC and laser because that was in that little, uh, the CNC was in that storage uh, building the Amish shed, if you remember correctly. So uh, I had to figure out how to incorporate it in my shop. And the laser was actually upstairs in the apartment. I had it vented and everything, you know, it'd be safe, but I had to put it out here, you know, all in one, that way we're good to go. Um, <clears throat> I ran a port for the laser to the back. Built this stand on wheels so I can roll it around wherever I want. You know, it doesn't bother anything. This setup works really well if you're looking to do something like that um, you'd think with the CNC it would wiggle around so it would mess up the accuracy or with this it would wiggle around and mess up the accuracy but it doesn't because everything's mounted and then the steppers do the work for you it doesn't you know it doesn't show up in the work that's what I'm getting at but it's the next plaque I'm gonna be making I'm gonna be making a video on it here I've got the little setup inside there but um, let's see what else. Oh, I insulated the garage door yesterday. I got some free insulation from a guy. It's like fiberglass back, but it's actually foam board under there. You know, rigid, super rigid. And uh, it's so rigid that I couldn't bend it and make it snap in like everybody else does. So I just took clips and I'm actually gonna take some um, ducting tape, not duct tape, ducting, the shiny stuff. I'm gonna tape each seam all the way around the door. Made it quite a bit heavier, but it's gonna help with the winter time. And I had a window here, you could see right into the bathroom, because that's the bathroom. <laughs> so what we did was we put this hardboard over it, and we're actually making a picture on the other side of it. I'm sure you'll see it, we'll be posting it on our page or something, you know. But it'll look really cool from the bathroom side. But this side, I'm gonna fill it with insulation. 
all the way out and then I'm gonna put some plywood in there just to fill it and cap it so that it's nice and soundproof and everything. Um, I had to run all new electric because they didn't have any electric other than one outlet off of, because this used to be the exterior of the house, obviously, right? <laughs> um, they had one little outlet right there coming off of the exterior light. So I just jumped off that and made an outlet for just my router. That outlet only runs that router, that's it. Um, it's just on a different circuit, so it doesn't mess with the computer, because I noticed that if you keep everything on the same circuit and you go to turn your router on and off, it'll actually make the computer mess up. So I stopped doing that. <laughs> um, and you know, there's a lot of finish work. I mean, there's, I haven't even gotten started really, but this is the organization of it. You know, I got my old bench back, but I did redo the, how the table saw sat on there. I had to build this whole little cart thing. I call it a low boy now, because it just, it looks like a low boy, you know? It's rough as all get out, and I'll be rebuilding one of these here, short order, you know, because I'm gonna need one bigger anyway. I need one that's four foot by eight foot, you know, because I work with whole sheets of stuff. So it's gonna take up a little bit more of the shop, but I'm gonna have more organization. That wood bin is actually gonna be out of here eventually. Um, and uh, yeah, this is another gripe I have don't buy this saw unless you have tons of room and you feel like hitting your kidney on this about 5,000 times in your head because this miserable thing sticks out so far I measured across from here all the way over this knob and it's 44 inches across when it's all the way open like that that is ridiculous <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this on the marketplace and I bought a WEN and it's set up a little different. The linear rail runs inside here. And it's off to the side. And uh, I just don't have the change. We just bought a house and everything. I don't have the change to go out and buy an $800 miter saw. You know, a miter saw to me, <coughs> as long as it can do the normal functions, it's good. I just got this because it could take up extra material, but it's just not worth it. I don't cut super thick material. I only cut 4x4s is the thickest usually, you know. So I'll be replacing that with the win. That's coming in the mail. It'll be here shortly. I'm going to make an unboxing video of that. And now I'm going to make a use video of it to show everybody what this saw can do. Um, I'm, I got my high, hopes high on it, but we'll see. It's, it's a cheap product. But then again, I have my win lathe, and I am super happy with that. I got my uh, PowerTech track saw with my WEN track saw in here in this little junk cabinet. <laughs> and I'm happy with that thing. Yes, it's plastic, but you know what? It gets the job done. And that's all I ask it to do, and I've never had any problems with any of my WEN stuff. Again, WEN, you know, a little sander works great I sharpen my bowl gouges on it I use it for sanding off epoxy items wood items you know you know how you, you know it, it, when is a good product I'm gonna keep going with it <laughs> um, but yeah that's basically the shop set up so far I got holes in the concrete I got a patch and fill people just didn't take care of this I guess it fell off the market somebody bought it and rented it for five six years and people just trashed the place the house is a nightmare, <laughs> but it's getting handled. Um, we've been working this last two months since I've been on, I've been working on the house, just getting it done, you know? Just, uh, we, had, we put new floors in it, top and bottom, basically a whole brand new bathroom. Um, the house is gonna be jacked up because it's settling in the middle. It's under a old, it's, this thing was built in 1930. So the, the house is over an old stone foundation. Well, a quarter of the stone's left, and where that's at, it's got some uh, failure and stuff. The, the joists are um, starting to fail, so I'm going to get some LVL, and I'm going to put it underneath there and jack the house up with uh, a couple of my... Um, I have a construction friend who's really good with this kind of stuff, and then I actually have an engineer friend, too, so he can come and take an eyeball because... It's goofy the way I have it set up. The joists run totally different directions throughout the whole house, and I always thought they had to run, run one direction, you know. But, um, yeah, this is the shop. So this is what you'll be seeing from now on. It's going to look as, you know, time goes by, it's going to look a little different. You know, every door was a pain in the butt to put in. Obviously, you can see that. I mean, I put 
four by fours in, reframe the whole thing on both, you know. Well, that's two by sixes on that one because I wanted it super solid, but yeah, that's what we got going on. Uh, I was happy to finally deliver that river table. That thing took me about, I'd have to say about a month because I was, I was doing it during the move. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, that took about a month to do. Um, but uh, we finally got it delivered up in Buffalo and it delivered, we delivered it safely and um, she was absolutely happy with it. You know, she actually ordered some more stuff while we were there. Um, but I mean, that was the biggest river table I have done. That thing was four feet wide by six feet long. And it was an inch and a half thick because I used two by tens to make it. <laughs> well, then here's a little pick for you. Another thing, um, I've been getting a lot of customers on Etsy. I really appreciate everybody that goes to my Etsy page and um, picks up my digital products. It's it's a, it's a nice um, little kicker every day to hear that thing go off and know that people are appreciating my work. Um, I try to keep things original. I don't steal work and then try to rework. No, no I don't. I don't do that. Um, it's interesting to say the least but it's it's a blast i have fun with it and um i just wanted to say that to appreciate you know i appreciate everybody that goes on there and i will be making more now that we're starting to get settled into the house i can start making more files and um of course they're going to go off of like what holiday it is or you know just time sensitive stuff <clears throat> people are going to be working on projects at a certain time of the year and they're gonna be looking for stuff like this you know I, I want to make this but is there something out there where I can get it quick and just plug it in and, and machine machine and go you know and I like doing that for people I like making that you know um, <clears throat> more epoxy videos coming we got a brand new pour room uh, gosh I don't know what else to really cover <laughs> um, but I appreciate everybody. I appreciate the views. I appreciate the um, feedback I get from everyone, good or bad, you know, or intuitive. I like learning. I'm not afraid to, you know, have somebody say, hey, you're doing this wrong. You need to do it this way. And I, you know, I always, okay, yep, that's, all right. <laughs> you you got to be open-minded when you're in this field of work. But, um. Anyway, that's that. I'm going to get to going on this one, I'm making a video for that. And um, you guys have a good day, and we'll, I look forward to uh, making more videos for you. Anyway, have a good day, guys. See ya.